The biggest name of Duluth's running scene is back in the Twin Ports for this weekend's races. Northern News Now's Alexis Bass recently spent time with her. Alexis? Race Week, Duluth, Minnesota, Grandma's Marathon, just a few words that are music to the ears of race participants across the world. In fact, we are just two days away from Duluth's biggest event of the year. But in this year's race, there's a familiar face who's joining the Grandma's Marathon crew in a new setting. That's two-time Olympian, Deck Hall of Famer, New York Times best-selling author, and NBC sports analyst, Kara Goucher. She walked me through her journey of receiving and accepting a call that led her back home. Olympic runner Kara Goucher first found her stride on the track at Duluth East High, a course that built her and the city on a hill that believed in her. I grew up seeing what running could do for a community. Like, I grew up seeing how running could bring all these people together, and I don't think everybody has that. After setting records in high school and college, Goucher ran in the 2008 and 2012 Olympics. Goucher, as Julie said, she's the one with the and after competing on sports' most prestigious stage, she came back and set a record a little closer to home. The power of the community surrounding Grandma's Marathon, it just really strikes me every time I'm here for that. And then just also, like, I think that was the beginning of who I became, right? Grandma's Marathon, pinned as a world-class event with small-town charm, welcoming more than 20,000 participants with open arms, and circled on calendars as one of the largest events in the Northland each year. It's like just a part of the community. Like, everybody on Grandma's Marathon weekend, it's like, well, where are you going to be cheering? Right? Like, everyone has their spot, and I think that's really cool. I mean, I surprised myself, and then... The small-town girl with big-time dreams. Kara Goucher has always had her spot, too. From handing out waters, cheering, and of course, competing. Goucher still holds the Gary Bjorklund half marathon record she earned in 2012. And actually, I won my first ever city championship here. But this year, Goucher returns to her homegrown roots to take on a different part of the course. Yeah, this year, instead of just being a fan, cheering people on and, and watching to see if the record, my record falls, um, I get to be a part of the action. Do you remember the moment that you got a phone call from Grandma's Marathon saying, hey, we need you on the call? Yeah, yep. Zach Schneider actually reached out, and I was like, well, I doubt it's going to work. It's usually the same work in a, a weekend as USA's. And then I remember writing back and being like, I don't know if you're still interested in me helping, but... It's not a conflict. So, Just another addition to Goucher's rich resume, joining the Grandma's Marathon broadcast team for the first time. But it will not be her first time taking on an assignment like this. And you said February is the last time that you called yeah. a race. <laughs> a little rusty. You feel like you're a little rusty, okay? <laughs> I do feel like I'm a little rusty. The last race I called was the indoor um, USATF championship, and the longest race there that we called on TV was a mile. <laughs> So this is a little different, but also this is the event I know so well, and this is the event that was my baby. So I've, I'll be able to transition, I think, pretty well into marathoning. Just as a racetrack takes you in circles, for Goucher, life has had a wonderful way of coming full circle for her, too, calling this year's Grandma's Marathon with people who have been alongside her from the start. I mean, Carrie Tolson and I raced each other from the moment I started racing. She is a broadcaster, so I see her all the time. And then Chad Samala is the person who basically taught me how to ski. And of course, Dick Beardsley is just a legend. The decision for Goucher to hang up her racing shoes was no easy one. She was diagnosed with dystonia in 2021, a rare neurological movement disorder that takes away control from her body when racing. But she stayed the course, on pace for this new adventure with dreams of setting the pace for the next generation of young athletes exactly. along the way. But if you could tell the people that are now here running this track at Duluth East as a Greyhound, um, who have the roots of Duluth, that have big dreams like you do too, what would you tell them? Well, no dream is too big. I really believe that. Like, if I can make it, anyone can make it. But you're from this amazing community that's going to support you, whether you get to the top or not. You can bet there's no distance Goucher won't go if it means witnessing more dreams come to life right beside the shores of Lake Superior, always answering the call for the place that started it all.
When I asked Goucher what is next for her, she said while she will never race again, the one thing that she has not done yet that she dreams of doing is coaching at the high school level. But for now, she also plans to lend her voice for the 2024 Paris Olympics for Team USA on NBC Sports. Thank you, Alexis. Tomorrow, Goucher will be selling and signing copies of her New York Times bestselling book, The Longest Race. For more information, head to northernnewsnow.com.